Hello and welcome to the 29th story for Women's History Month. Today's story is based on the prompt, write a story containing a large amount of dialogue but without using the word said. This story is titled Shoes on the Floor. So let's get right into it. Oh for heaven's sake Charlie, Eloise muttered. What have I told you about leaving your shoes on the floor? She berated. Sorry mum, I'll go put them away, Charlie claimed apologetically. Yes, make sure you do. I have a date coming round tonight, and I don't want him falling over and whacking his head on the banister and dying. Eloise placed her hand to her chest. Or worse, not asking me on a second date, she dreaded. Mum, stop being a worry wart. He will love you. Charlie kissed her mum on the cheek before picking up their shoes as promised. Eloise admired herself in the hallway mirror and smiled. For once, she finally felt beautiful. Lovely. I look lovely. You're right, darling. How could he not love me? She laughed. Exactly, and if he doesn't, that's his problem, Charlie smiled. Do you think he'll have a problem with me being trans? Eloise panicked. Of course not, he matched with you, didn't he? Charlie reminded to Eloise's relief. Charlie made themselves scarce for the evening as Eloise met her date Zachary at the door. She couldn't speak when she glanced upon him. All she could do was bite her lip and mumble the sound, Mmm. I have that effect on women. Zachary invited himself in with a smug grin. Eloise raised an eyebrow and then gasped as he threw his jacket on the floor and kicked off his shoes. Excuse me, what are you doing? Eloise crossed her arms, taken aback by the vulgar display of arrogance she was witnessing. Making myself at home? Zachary laughed as he began unbuttoning his shirt. Where do you want me? He winked. I want you out of my house. You said we were going on a date, not hooking up. Eloise reprimanded. Are you taking a mick? I come all the way here to see you and get nothing. Zachary scoffed as Eloise bent down and grabbed his shoes, chucking him out the door into the street. Zachary stormed over and got right up in her face. He studied her expression as her heart raced and her chest frighteningly fast. You should be thankful I even gave you the time of day. He spat as he backed away before leaving the house and having the door slammed behind him. Eloise fell to the floor in tears. She couldn't believe that man had been in her house. When Charlie returned home later that night, they saw their mum on all fours polishing the floor and immediately knew something was wrong. No discussion was needed. Charlie knelt down and placed her hands on her mum's cheeks as she looked at them with red puffy eyes. They placed their forehead to hers and sat in silence as Eloise began smiling acknowledging her beautiful baby before her. It had never been explicitly stated, but the two needed each other. It was their strength that kept each other going. Eloise felt Charlie's strength that day, and even though she had found herself on the floor, it was Charlie who gave her the strength to stand back up. 